God damn it, Chaz. Gullible, fuck you. But hey, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Fantasy Star 4 at the end of the millennium. No random battles outside here. Fair enough. And I doubt there's gonna be any extra stuff here, but I have to check. It's just. It's just instinct. Has your ponytail always been on that side? Okay, I thought so. I just realized the uh, sprite, you know, just mirrors itself, so. You always see Rune's ponytail on the side, no matter which way you look at it. This music, though, goddamn. And why do I feel like I'm infiltrating Bowser's castle in Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars? It's the color and the layout. But that sucks, man. While these sprites are still badass, they're kind of reusing them already, so... Very upsetting and very, very painful. And they would go after my Hune... Master? I don't know. I honestly didn't expect him to kill... Rune. Oh well. I mean, if you're gonna kill Rune, do it right. And make... Uh... I don't have it. I know Chaz has it, but I have to pop it back to do it. I want Rune to get experience. Kinda noticed that, um... Since... It's kind of early on, I think this is how the game uh, mechanic works, but... This is one of those games where... Whoever is alive gets experience, and whoever is dead does not, right? I mean, that's how it works. But what I'm trying to get at is... If one person is dead, the experience isn't shared to them, it goes to the other characters. So they get a better uh, slice of the pie, I suppose. So I think it's possible if you kill... Well, I would kill one, I think. I'm kinda hoping- okay, well, let me finish my thought. What the fuck? Dimension Worm. And Stone Heads. They look like lungs, though. Still attached- well, not still attached, but attached to the sternum. Oh shit, there's two of them! Alright, I gotta finish my thought before I fucking forget. But... If, let's say, just Chaz is alive, and he kills everything, he'll get a lot more experience than he would with, uh, the four other people. So I think you can actually power level people here, which would be kind of, uh, strategic. Why would you power level Rune, though, is what I'm... Because he's the only one who could do Hewn, right? So he could destroy, but... I think you can actually power level, like, two or three people very early on in the game and just have an easy time. Also... Okay, I did a lot of damage. And a sleep status element. That's the first. Huh. Is this the final dungeon? Huh. Nah, it's just really difficult because I haven't bought equipment in a while. But... I don't know, man. It just went up out of nowhere. But uh, those are three mages, I suppose. I kind of have the feeling that I had to kill their non-spell illusions so I can pass through. Might as well check. I thought so. Unfortunately, I can't just use the cycle wand. It's a one-time deal thing. God damn it, D-pad, for real. God damn it, D-pad, for real. Yeah, this isn't the final dungeon. This is one of those uh really tough dungeons in between. Because I still need to go to that forest to go to the uh, tower. I forget what it's called. I was gonna call it Gizmo Luke, but that's another game. Hmm. I think Rune has a magnet for uh, physical attacks on him. But these uh, Saber people, they're threatening now. 
Maybe I'm under leveled, I don't know. But I really do think it's mostly with the equipment that's uh, fucking with me. I should have brought more uh, tri mates. Because I have a lot of Meseda now. So is it just one dimension one or two? Alright, I gotta set up the macros because uh, I lost uh, one of the best characters in the game. Oh well. Interesting, each enemy has their own uh, weaknesses and resistances to spells and physical attacks. I was about to say, what the fuck am I fighting? I think these are physical? I wish I had the gun on Ren. This should do it. Yeah, there's nothing I can do when it comes to these kind of encounters with the mages, so I should probably make a macro where they can defend while they attack. Or, you know, Rika j could just, you know, do her thing and disrupt. They did a lot of damage. She is an AoE menace. Do I fight out here? No, I'm still inside, right? No, I'm outside. I'm pretty sure the outside of the castle doesn't count, but I'm outside of the... Yeah, okay, so... Okay. Yeah, that's what threw me off, because I'm inside now, but it's still showing the outside, so... That's cool, that's a breather area. I should have healed, though. Oh man, I am feeling the uh, weight of this area. Rika is going to be carrying me here a lot. Not only is she going to be healing, I should have Chaz do it, though. But her, uh, disrupt is going to be very devastating here. I just went back, thought I missed an item. And I did. It was a try mate. So here's the thing about these guys. They have a little bit of health, but for some reason, only Rika can do a monumental amount of damage. And I think it has to do with the uh, claw she's using that she got from one of the uh, cute, adorable... I forget what they're called, but... I think it was called an ice pick? Or something like that? Ice fang? Neat. It's kind of weird when you just, uh... Think it was paralysis or stun him, I guess? You just see one big as a line of, well, nothing. So this counts as an outside too. Okay. I'm wondering, since I defeated one of those, uh... Robed people in that one dungeon... Does that count? Because that would be kind of cool. You have to go outside the dungeon to kill one. But I was kind of hoping they'd be scattered throughout the world. So you would have to look for them. And then you find some extra stuff. And then you get some nice weapons. And then you come back here and kick ass. But that's probably not the case. Huh. Where's that uh, new one I made? Where only Rika attacks and then everyone else does like the nice stuff. I really wish I had more crosscut though. Like, I barely have. Because Chess has like half as much as a uh, crosscut as Rune does Flaylight, but he did start off with Flaylight. Where crosscut had to be learned, so that's probably a thing. Oh my. All of that was just a dead end. And the items are in. Okay, never mind. That uh, lighting kind of tricked me for a bit. I mean, they kind of blend well, but you can tell what's wall and what's floor. But the lighting just really threw me off. Thought I went the right. Thought I went the wrong way. And normally I'm okay with that, but I didn't get any nice items at all, which really rustled my jimmies. I'm really liking these breather rooms, but just imagine if this was like a PlayStation-type game, 
Granted, they still look like sprites, but a little bit more detailed outside. But you would see like a better outside uh, background and everything when you would go outside. Because there were games like that where you would uh, exit and you could just see a nice background. And I don't know. I think this game would have looked beautiful had it more production, I guess. I really hate these guys, though. I think they cast a... Uh, I think it was called Death Spell. And there, there it is. It's never landed, but the fact that they have an instant death kill type spell, and they're called Spector, not Spectre. I don't know. I feel like they should be feared, and I'm just getting lucky with the uh, not dying, because they've done it like five times in a row and I haven't died. I should be saving those, honestly. I should be using the diamates I have. Keep fucking up, man. I keep fucking up. See, I was about to be tricked again had I not just remembered my uh, little spat early on. But I really do think uh, it's Eureka that's going to be helping me out here the most. She's doing the damage to everything here. So I'm wondering if it really is the uh, Thunderclaw or Silver Tusk. I want to say the Silver Tusk, but, you know, I don't know, so... I mean, Silver? I mean, there is a way I can find out, I just unequip it, give her a barrier. Chaz is kind of useless here, honestly. His attacks aren't doing that much damage, if any. Crosscut barely does anything. I'm kind of wondering if I've hit the point of the game where I should be carrying multiple weapons based on their elemental affinities. Or that just could be like a little spat within the game. Like if you knew ahead of time that you should carry this type of weapon to help you out in the next dungeon. Kind of like in uh, Final Fantasy VI where you go to the uh, cave to the sealed gate. You would want to carry water based weapons like the Trident. For either Mog or Edgar. That way they can destroy, but, you know, it's like, what are you going to do? I don't know if I even want that, considering. Of course, I'm still going to take it. Alright, now to figure out if it's the Thunderclaw or the Silver Tusk that's doing most of the damage. Damn, really? Okay. I believe I have to go all the way up to the left and then all the way down just to fight a boss. If that's the case, that's cool. But also, goddamn, that's quite a bit of ways of doing it just to fight a boss. But I do need to escape, in a sense. Because, uh, kind of suffering here. Not only am I low on TP, but I'm kind of low on, uh, skill, so. Oh, I got Kyra. She can heal. It's just that... I don't know. I've been so attached to using Gisar now. Man, I'm really feeling the hurt. I need to retreat bad. Like, really bad. To be fair, though, I should have been using this in the beginning. I need to get to use some of these repair kits now. Surprisingly enough, the only thing that hurts Ren is corrosion. And I got an escape pipe, so the game's kind of telling me you should probably retreat now and save since you know what's coming up in a sense of what you're fighting. But based on my knowledge, uh, it's Rika's uh, Silver Tusk that's doing most of the damage. Which is odd, because now that I think about it, that dungeon I entered, that's the only thing I got in terms of help me here. Not even a sword, but it was just for Rika. And you'd think it would be for Chaz, if not Rune. But then again, why would Rune need it? He's Lutz. And it does kind of make sense Rika gets it, because she's a biological weapon and looks kind of feral, so... There's that to consider. Did I go all the way around? 
I don't remember this chamber at all. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Yeah, this is different. And if I could beat Zeo with the stats I had left, maybe I can beat. Then maybe I can defeat one of the bosses here. Maybe? Gonna be honest with you guys, I have no idea where I'm going. I do have a good sense of direction in this uh, vicinity. It's just that um, I know there's a room I missed. Those stairs. But I'm wondering if it's just gonna be a dead end or an item. This dungeon is massive, I love it. Ah, but I'm more worried about my TP. See, this game doesn't have any restorative items for TP, as far as I know. So, it does give you legitimate threat when it comes to uh, dungeon crawling, I suppose. Because something I've noticed is that some of the dungeons, if not most of them, have been small, short, and quick. And this one? This is the biggest one yet. So if more dungeons were like this, at least a little bit earlier on, before you lose Raja, or during Raja, I would have been feeling the hurt long before that. That is to say I'm not enjoying myself though, because I'm a fan of these type of uh, excursions. I'm going to start losing my way soon. Because now there are two rooms I forgot to explore. The one with the little teleport room on the bottom, the yellow one. And then the uh, the stairs I mentioned. But I can go back to those stairs later on because I am going to probably revisit this place. Uh, I have to check now. I've gone too far in. I can't ignore these anymore. These encounters though, this one, this is my favorite encounter. I haven't been fighting those blade users a lot. Because uh, if I had been, I think that's a formation that's been hurting me the most. This one I'm fine with. If I get like four of these, that's even better. That's an easy disrupt kill. Although I'm trying to save Disrupt for some reason, I don't know why. Point being it is... I'm more uh, wary about my resources, even more now. I think that's why they gave you a Kyra here. For the uh... Healing. Kinda like Raja. Her Medice is actually helping quite a bit. Medice. Whatever you want to go with. I love the slowdown for that attack too. I always love slowdowns in, well, games in general. But the fact that I'm getting due now, that's saying something. I have nothing to throw away. Probably should have used that too. This place just keeps on going. This is definitely a sky fortress in space. It's floating in space, man. There's no sky. There can't be a sky without an atmosphere. Let alone a planet. I think I've hit the end, though. Oh, I have to fight three of them. I 
think I can do it. I am a man of risk. Even though I do play cautiously. Once in a while. So yeah, I'll do it. I will do it. Sounds sexual. At least, I'm sure it is for them. Yeah, three of these guys. Or girls. Things. I gotta love their costumes, though. The design is so fucking beautiful. Alright, so I'm thinking Shooting Star or... Well, they're mages, so... I should take precautions with buffs again. What can you do right now? Yeah, might as well. I think this lowers our mental stat. Or was it Warla? Eh, I figured it out. Not bad? Oh, they all attack in tandem. That's cool. I mean, that sucks, but that's cool. Yeah, that didn't help. Maybe it is physical attacks. Hmm. Don't fail me. Damn, I have a lot of health. I should be focusing on one. That was my big hitter too. Well, we're quicker than them. Good, good, good. Okay. This should help out on their AoE attacks. 
It's a good thing I've been saving these Stardews for a while, too. I should have everything under the control now. Alright, might as well do it. Guaranteed take one out. I might be able to take them all out too, actually. Shift really did help out though. Just wish I could have done it one more time. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, I mean, that works too. I think they would have been a lot more lethal if they had attacked separately. And you bet your bippy I'm gonna retreat after this fight. Oh boy. I don't want to go further though. There has to be another boss. I don't know, I mean... <sighs> yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna go back to that staircase room. Followed by the uh, yellow circle rune area. In that order, so I'll see you there. Alright, let's see what I missed out on. It's a lot of extra stuff, that's for sure. By the by, I'm kind of thinking that yellow rune down there is going to be like some sort of shortcut. But now that I beat that boss, maybe that's the shortcut itself. Kind of lost in thought with what that could be, but I am kind of hoping that's the case because it would make it a lot more easier to come back up here. And I'll have to deal with, um, well, doing all this all over again and uh, using a lot of my resources. I'm gonna give this to Rika because she needs it bad. Ah, uh, she can't use it. Surprise, surprise! That's a lot of agility though. Guaranteed to go first. Neat. Oh, there's more. Ah, I knew it. So that's a healing rune. <sighs> I should have expected it, but I had to say I was more worried than anything. <laughs> but hey man, I made a big ass shortcut with the healing rune. That's good enough for me. I'm gonna go save because... I mean, I covered a lot of ground. As well as gained a lot of experience. Yep, and it has to be in the world map. So with that said, thanks for watching this part. Let's play Fantasy Star 4, the end of the millennium with me on Pink Fleek. Okay, thanks, bye.